So I'm gonna start installing this uh, AC power steering delete kit. I got off eBay. I got PQY, that's the brand name. Same thing here for the fuel pressure. Regulating the fuel setup and lines, all that shit is PQY. So yeah. K270 mil throttle body. I simply, I'm still using the uh, D series stock size radiator. I do got a fuel pressure regulator. It starts up, but it has rod knock now. So I'm pretty sure I gotta find another engine or I can take the one out the RSX and have some fun with that. So yeah. Cars, I can say somewhat fully done. I ran my, I finished my charge harness from going down here from the alternator to back up here, back to the fuse box. So now I got both wires going back to the fuse box or whatever with all the grounds. Ignore that plug. I already got the alternator plugged in. So yeah, pretty much it's done. I got all my bolts in my header. I got all five bolts. I didn't get an actual case swap radiator because this ain't gonna work because it's leaking out. It would work, but it just, it's a hole in it anyways, it leaks slow. But yeah. Base model RSX swap came out of a full RSX. It's running and driving. I think it's knocking though. I think it's got rod knock. I'm not sure. But yeah. Other than that, this car is somewhat almost done. This thing is low as hell though. Super low. Too low for K.
You can see my exhaust right there, points down. I get that uh coming all the way back. It's way too loud right now. Way too loud. It's a little walk around. I had this car, this is like my third week owning this car, I think. It's third week. It's almost done. Sitting right next to the RSX. K series, man. K series. Ain't pretty much, ain't too much done on the inside. Got the ricey wheel on there. Got the ricey cluster. I didn't do that. This is how the car came. So I need to add my own little bits and pieces. This shifter came out of my other car. I don't like this shifter. I want to go underneath. That's the K-Pro Honda the V4. I got to tuck up the uh, conversion harness. It's running through there. So, and that's that. Because I want to be able to use my uh, cup holders and, and all that stuff. Then I got a big gaping hole down there, so. But yeah. Got a little base map. It's running pretty good. I could probably drive to work. But I shouldn't be driving it, but I don't know. Now I'm alternate. I'm getting power back to the fuse box so it's staying on after I unplug the battery. So that's a good thing. What the fuck? So yeah. That's pretty much it. That's the walk around. Or update, whatever you want to call it. I like this front lip setup. It's pretty cool. So I thought the same lip was on that car. But that's something else. But yeah. Looking good. I do want to raise it up a little bit more. Definitely a few centimeters. So, yeah. And that's it. I'm going to try to stay, uh, I'm going to try to keep, just keep y'all posted up on this car or whatever. I don't be doing the YouTube stuff like that. But, yeah. Because so I need to find me a, uh, for the clutch line, the message, I need to find me an RSX line that goes back there and goes down instead of going up and go down there or something. I don't know. I'm gonna figure some shit out. It's an RSX. The clutch mask is way back there. And it goes down right there. It follows underneath the ship the cables. And then it goes to the master system that's right there. That's it. I'm trying to keep y'all posted. I'm out. What are you doing on, Jay?